Welcome to this Match T DSM video tutorial. In this video, we want to introduce you to the full automatic terrain extraction software from Trimble Photogrammetry. We will use the demo dataset that you can download from our webpage. How to download the demo data and to install the software and how to register for the download part is shown here in this video that we blend over this part here. In this video we use version 7.02. In the previous video we already created subblocks for this project and we have here the subblocks north and south included. If you don't have them it doesn't matter, you can also use this video just with the complete project from the demo data. Please assure that your images are online so that you can use them for processing. You can start MatchT from Capture MatchT DSM. MatchT DSM generates automatically from aerial images with image matching algorithms a point cloud. MatchTDSM uses up-to-date matching algorithms. This includes feature-based methods, but also includes pixel-based methods. We will not go into detail in this video to these uh, matching algorithms. This will be part of the technical support training, which you can order through our sales team. MatchTDSM uses up to 16 cores for one license, for the, and can use them for processing. You will need to have an info project file to process data with MatchTDSM, which we have here in our case with the demo data. You can either process the complete block or subblock by adding it to the process line with add. We can see here the entry boundary, which is currently at the complete block, or as mentioned in the previous video, you can just select as a boundary a subblock, in our case the subblock north or south. I will keep here the complete block for the processing. Match TDSM offers different parameters for processing. We will create two parameter sets in this video which are generated here in the region type editor. We will create one parameter set called DTM underscore video and we will create a second one called DSM underscore video. We select the DTM video parameter set. <coughs> we will change the terrain type, uh, sorry, we will ch change the generation type to digital terrain model. In our case this is already the case, so I will first switch to surface model, ignore here this question with no, and then I switch back to terrain model. The message that comes up here means that we will offer you an automatic setting of parameters, which is in most cases for your project, um, it will create a good result uh, from our experience. Please keep these default settings and say yes, so that the parameters for the DTM video will have good settings for a digital terrain model. In the Trimble photogrammetric world, a DTM mainly targets a bare earth model, which means it's not including single structures and objects, for example buildings or trees or any man-made objects. In this DTM approach, we are not interested in the single little details of a structure, but we want to have a nice, well-fitting bare earth terrain model. And this can be achieved with a sparse spreaded point cloud. In most cases in the world, governments and some other departments, they create 5 meter or 10 meter grids for their needs. And typically they are really not very dense, the DTMs. Now with LiDAR data coming into the game more and more, so also departments and governments are moving into more denser uh, terrain models going down to 2 meter or even 1 meter. But this is today seldom the case. Often 
the sparse point cloud is densified with, much with morphological data additionally. So in the 10 meter or 5 meter grid we have break lines and some single points which then give the terrain a good representation of the real bare earth model. In the Match TDSM technical training we will go here into this part very detailed how to create a very accurate DTM. I will not go now into all the other parameters which is part of the training. I will just keep my, these DTM video settings as they are. I will select here in the region type this DTM video. I will again apply the approximate settings which have good standard values for the project. I will name it also as DTM video. And my grid spacing here is given an a good starting value, a default value, and I will generate here for this data a 2 meter uh, terrain model. Creating a digital terrain model, we are as output interested into our grid, which has a 2 meter grid, so we generate a grid, we define an output folder, and in this folder our result will be saved. The DTM generation includes a feature-based matching process, which creates internally a very dense point cloud of homologous points that are matched. How this dense point cloud is used in match TDSM and how we generate from it the final DTM with 2 meter in this example will be covered in the technical training from match TDSM. We can press OK and then we add this process to our process queue. Normally this is all you have to do for a default setting and processing of a DTM. So we could now go to process and hit start. But we will add now a um, second process queue or process to our queue. So I select add and this time I go to my region type editor and I select my DSM video parameter set. This time I select generation type digital surface model and again I will use now the default settings. We will see now that these parameters will automatically be adapted when I press yes. In the Trimble photogrammetry world a DSM mainly targets a surface model now including all the man-made objects. We want to extract a point cloud which stays as long as possible on the ground and suddenly elevates to the roof or to some man-made objects. In the best case, from one pixel to the next pixel, a very sharp edge and elevation change in the point cloud. These extreme elevation changes are offering us a very easy automation for terrain modeling and object recognition. To create such a point cloud we are using our cost-based matching algorithms which are developed in our engineering group which extract per pixel a point. How the algorithm works and which functions we offer will be covered in our technical training again for Match T DSM. Selecting the generation type digital surface model means we will now use this cost-based matching algorithm and so we say OK. We select the region type DSM video to activate it. We again mention to use it now as a default value so it will adapt the parameters. We will enter our identification name so we call it DSM video and this time uh, in the DSM generation our main focus is the point cloud itself. We do not want to generate from this dense point cloud a sparse interpolated terrain model, but we want to work with the dense point cloud itself. Therefore we will not define an output with the generate grid part and because we are not outputting a grid we don't need to change the grid size because this grid size has only an influence to the grid output. But we want to extract or to export and output the point cloud itself. So we select generate point cloud and because the point cloud 
can become very large, we will tile the data automatically into small parts, which can be done by the Tile Manager. So we define an output directory, and that's all we need to do for our DSM extraction with the dense point cloud. We say OK, and this process is added to our queue. Match T DSM will now sequentially process each process, and it will process every process that has here a checkbox activated. And I will start the process here, and then we will take a view after uh, it was fi uh, finished. So when I start, it will also ask me to save it. So I will save my project, and then it will start with the first process, and we will take a look after it's finished. Here we go. Let us take a look at the output result. So here we have the two folders, DSM video and DS DTM video. In the DTM video, we have a log file, which includes uh, statistical informations and also information about the quality from the automatic matching process. The analysis of this log file and how to proceed uh, with the result will also be part of the MatchT DSM training. The DTM generation creates the last file, which uses the name of our description. The last file is a point cloud with the grid size that we defined uh, on our user interface. Typically, the last file is used for LiDAR data, but we use the format too because it handles point clouds very well and it's binary, so it's very compact and many software products can use it, therefore it's also a very good interchange format. The DSM process includes multiple LAS files. Each LAS file has about 5 million points by default and they are now generating for each pixel a point, so they are much larger compared when we look to the DTM where we have here a LAS file with 10 megabyte of size. I hope this helped you to get a first impression of Match TDSM and to get started to produce the data. And thank you very much for watching this video and see you soon. Bye!